All right, so we're going to, over the last couple weeks, it's obviously off season. I thought I'd send this out for the Athletic Motion Golf guys and uh, fans of the Dew Sweeper page, trying to send some more of this stuff out. Uh, obviously, off season, got a bunch of our tour players coming in. One of them is a uh, rookie, great guy, so fun to work with, awesome perspective on things. Is Sepp Straka, played at Georgia. So I'm just going to kind of go through what we did over two days here. Um, I always start with setup and where their tendencies are. And so when I started with Sepp, his tendency was to get his hips. He, he wants to play a draw, wants to hit a draw. Um, his hips tended to get too much this way, and he tended to get too leaned in and too straight-legged on his left. It looked – the when we started, his right leg always looked angled more than his left. So I try to get him more balanced at setup uh, and get his hips set under him better so that the base of his spine is underneath or slightly in front of the top of his spine. So we always start with setup, and you can see if you go to this one here on the right, this is at the end of the second day, you can see that his hips are a little more that way. Hips set, hips set under him a little better for my preference with him. And, you know, he's slightly more balanced. He's got a little bit extra weight into the left. I'm okay with that. But you can see that his legs, uh, feet are a hair wider, and legs look more evenly proportioned coming out there. So that's where we started with setup. And then the second thing, knowing what we used to work on or what we've always worked on and what his tendencies are is, you know, he he gets not all the way for my belief or for what I would like him to do to hit a draw, wound enough pressure into his right side. Um, you know, when I've done some of the stuff with Dr. Lynn and stuff, he's for sure a rear post guy that's stronger on the rear or between center and rear post. And so from time to time, we Sepp and I have always worked on him getting wound up better into his right side. And to me, for him hitting a draw, you know, this is a better – You know, that's that's a better look for him. Uh, he plays his best golf, we believe, when he looks like that from a face-on view. And you can clearly see that he's got more pressure wound up into the into his right leg. And now the second thing that we did, and, and so I think it's interesting because Sepp's a field player. And so I would wind him back over to his right. I would turn his chest over there. And so he has developed the feel – that he just feels like he's moving his left shoulder across over to his right foot. So that's his thought. That's as simple as it is for him, right? And you can clear, you know, I mean, it's easy to see that shoulder doesn't get as far back there as it does. I mean, I th just deeper turn, right? So – Feel we from here we felt like his pivot was good and then from there we talked about some things the fact that his good is really good but when he gets off his off isn't as good as we want it to be and he's always played golf or since high school he's played golf with the club getting a little across the line and I I've wanted to change that but the majority of the time or really all the time I've worked with Sepp has been during the middle of a web.com you're trying to get his PGA Tour card and I didn't think it was really a good idea to try to change that because he plays a draw and he feels good with doing that. He felt okay with it being across the line. But I thought that at times, I could show you other videos, that it would get more across than that. And so I suggested during our work that all he do is make the same backswing pivot but that he feel like his right elbow stays more in front of the seam on his shirt or the seam of that Georgia sweater, right? And so he felt like his elbow stayed closer to him and in front of the seam in the shirt. It's not going behind him. And it put it dead on plane at the top or where we we would prefer it to be and the beauty of that from my perspective with Sepp 
is that he do, he's not trying to like lay it off or do anything crazy. It's a very simple thought and a very simple feel. And then you can see the result is, as it comes down, there's just less shift of that of the club, less movement and drop in the uh, and change of planes coming down, right? And I think that as down the road, that's going to be tidy things up for him and make it better going through, going through the ball. And I think, anyway, so that's a little preview into what we did with Sepp Straka this week. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed it and got something out of it. And thanks for, if you like this stuff, check out more of it on the Dew Sweeper channel on Athletic Motion Golf.